I think we're going to go ahead and go just slightly out of order from what I originally planned. And I want to go ahead and go straight into the whole save file controversy of this game. See, like, whenever the um, developers, uh, they put a message in the game that Mm -hmm. I guess apparently made the gaming press uh, seem like that the game would erase your save file. Which, whenever I heard about this, I was like, that sounds totally like Eternal Darkness, you know, pretty much. Which this yeah. game does have some similarities to, I would add. Uh, but that's mainly because they kind of touch on some of the same subject matters. But anyways, uh, the gaming press kind of took wind of this and spread this rumor that this game would actually delete your save file if you failed enough times. And there's been kind of a whole internet shitstorm over this whole subject. <laughs> have you read up on it? Yes. Yes, I have. That's why I I'm mean, laughing. So what do, you, what do you think so about that? Here's here's the thing. I, I, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who just wants to go in blind, because that's how I like to play games nowadays. I, I don't see how it affects anything. First of all, if you're dying that often that your save file gets destroyed, maybe it serves as kind of a, a lesson to be learned to not die so much in a game that I what I've read is really not the most difficult game in the universe to begin with. And also, um, I've seen other stuff where this sort of shit happened, or close enough to this happens. Apparently, you know, games where there's any sort of looming effect of infection or otherwise, there's caustic effects on the gameplay. I've seen games where your main character can be wrecked for the entire game if you're not careful. Then mm-hmm. you have to play the whole game as like a, as a crippled, ver- not to say crippled in a, a disfigured way, but you get to see, you basically, your character does not have half the abilities they had for the remainder of the game. Or I guess like Dark Souls, when, you go, when you're hollowed versus like fucking unhollowed. You yeah, exactly. You that way if you wanted to. Well, I mean, anytime you beat a boss, you go human until you die again, of course, but... Yeah. But, yeah, like, the whole save file controversy, it, it's a really interesting subject. I mean, because when I think about, like, how outraged people got about this supposed uh, theme, like, a lot Money. of people said that they weren't going to buy the game at all. They weren't going to play it at all just mm-hmm. because it had that feature. Who posted the first article about that? Uh, I, I don't... I don't was know it if it was Kotaku. It was like Kotaku or PC Gamer or Fucking, someone like that. It probably this is the thing I'm thinking. It probably was Kotaku because they love to do this shit because they love to spur internet bullshit because it gets them web hits and it creates like a, a, a fucking stream of nonsense that rips from the shreds of that whatever article they post. They're notorious for doing this sort of crap. Yeah. Them and po- them and Polygon. Those are like the two I can think of on top of my head that love to talk shit. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, Kotaku does have some interesting discussions from time to time. I do check oh, no, stuff do. out, but but I don't know. I guess you know they gotta they gotta get that traffic, right? I mean, they gotta put some yeah. clickbait out there. Yeah, it's it's all about keeping the uh, lights on, I suppose. <laughs> that is true. That is Especially with the whole uh, Gawker thing, which I, I, I <sighs> isn't Kotaku owned by IGN now. I think they're owned by IGN. You know what? I'm I pretty don't sure. Actually- because uh, the whole Gawker thing, you heard about that lawsuit that Hulk Hogan had with Gawker? Yes. And he apparently won that lawsuit, and they awarded like $140 million or some shit like that. I was like, and Gawker's really not that big of a website, so that pretty much tanked them. Well, they're owned by, um, people. a lot of people forget this, but there's a couple of publication, publication companies that own pretty much everything. Anybody who read gaming magazines back in the day knows that Ziff Davis was the name that was on the bottom of those magazines. Mm-hmm. They own yeah, they, all of that. <laughs> yeah, they had, like, um, GameSpot and stuff like that, too, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. GameSpot's yeah. one of the biggest... I mean, they, they weren't for a while, and then, you know, when they returned to form, when the Giant Bomb people came back, mm-hmm. like, that was a big thing, and they made a lot of fucking money in the process. Yeah, for sure. But um, the whole save file thing, it kind of reminds me of playing some of the classic NES games that didn't have, like, any continues, or if they did, they only had, like, maybe two continues. And then if you don't get through the whole game using those lives and continues, you have to start from the very beginning. So it's kind of like a return to that. Although <laughs> although apparently the whole save file thing turns out it was actually a bluff because I think it was um, Game Informer. They actually put that to the test, and they, like, intentionally died 50 times through the game. And they were still playing the game. Like, the rod or whatever that grows on your arm, like, 
if it does have any growth from dying, it's like super minimal. Like it's really hard to notice. What actually causes that growth is going through the sequence of events in the game. That makes sense. So, uh, so I guess that was kind of the issue. Now, I don't know if the game has multiple endings or whatever based on the number of times you die. Maybe it does, but it seems like this one's kind of a, a total bluff, and I'm just surprised people really fell for it. I'm just surprised that people reacted to it, period. That's what shocks me. It's like, really, people are getting upset about this? There's so many other features in certain games that could drive you insane, and this is what they're getting upset about? Yeah. There's it's always got to be something. I mean, how, how often can how you... Long is this, how long is this fucking game? Like, what is it, like, ten hours, maybe? It took me, I think, seven hours to go through. That's what I mean. It's like seven seven to ten hours. It's not that yeah. long as a game. If it's a 40, 50 hour quest to, or beyond that, okay, I could totally see people getting pissed off, but it's not. It's a game you could basically play through in one or two sittings. Right, exactly. And if you're back uh, to make multiple saves or something, I don't know. 